how to create triggers in Zendesk. Hey there, customer experience community. This is Dominic. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to look at how to create a trigger in Zendesk. I know that I've covered this topic within a bunch of other videos, but I'd like to do it again and dedicate this video just to that. Let's go. Now, if you can see my screen, I have a use case which is related to a real life problem that we're having. So tickets are being lost and or are delayed due to agents not choosing the right form for the brand they are working in. We have longer ticket handling times and a lower CSAT as a result. That's not nice. It's not nice to keep customers waiting. It's not nice to have tickets slipping through the cracks. So here we are creating this new trigger. Okay, so now we go to admin center. We go to objects and rules. We go to triggers and we say add trigger. We give it a very intuitive name so that when somebody else looks at these triggers, they will know what they're about. If brand is Roca, then assign Roca form. All right, so I'm giving this intuitive name and purposely I'm not putting a description because this should kind of give you an idea what this is about. Please use categories if you don't already. Please use categories. I'm going to put this in the Roca category. Conditions, very simple. It's going to be brand is. I have a bunch of brands and if you work with brands, then you'll know that this is very important. Roca brand. And then in the actions, I say form is Roca form. And that's it. I created and I'm done. All right. So if you've seen a very simple trigger that can make a whole lot of difference and it will reduce handling time and it will confuse your agents less, it will increase productivity and it will increase your customer satisfaction. So whoop de doo <laughs> Now, I know this is a very simple example and some of you are very advanced and good for you. So I won't just let you go off like that. I will give you some additional best practice tips about using categories for triggers. For example, best practice is to have three categories at least. Well, in my case, this is the best practice for me to use. I have three categories of triggers. So this is my order in this exact order because you know triggers go from top to bottom. I have set triggers where I set the process properties of those tickets. So then I know it's a billing request. I know it's a finance request. I know it's a bug. I know it's whatever. Then second one is assign. Now you assign it to the group because you know what the ticket is about, right? You know, it's the bug, you know, it's the order issue. You can assign it to the order group. You can assign it to the delivery group. You can assign it to the customer service group. However, you have that configured. And now the last one is the notification. Now, this is the one where you set a notification to the customer. Say, hey, dear customer, your ticket is now with the billing department or with the customer service department. They are very much on top of it. And uh, yeah, we'll get back to you within one day or something like that. So that's the order that you have to go in. All right, that's it. If you've enjoyed this video, follow, like, and subscribe, comment if you want to see some special content, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.